Hey YouTube, it's CC. Um, it's really early, or really late. It's really early in the morning. Really late for me to be up. I can't sleep. Um, I guess my insomnia kicking in. Why is someone walking across the street? The city I live in, you do not need to be walking across the street by yourself this late at night. He's not even paying attention to where he's going. But anyway, so since I couldn't sleep, I was watching some YouTube videos um, of some people I subscribe to. Or some people I, f yeah, subscribe to. And this girl, she does like really good nails. Her name is Akimit1118. But like I was looking at this one and her nails are like green at the top. Like a French, but the white part was green. And then she had this pretty flower. Like, she's really talented. Like, she does her own hair and everything. Um, I subscribe to her, so you can go to my subscribers and look for her. But, yeah. So, um, I decided to paint my nails because, if you didn't know from, the pre from one of the previous videos, I'm trying to grow my nails out. So... Um, yeah, my hair is like getting in my face, but I'm trying not to mess up my nails. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. But yeah, so I'm in the process of like growing my nails out. I just started like, as of today, I'm not going to bite my nails anymore. I'm going to try to stop biting my nails less. So I put a pretty pink on it. Um, I actually made this color up. See, that's how short my nails are. Like, it's nothing to paint, really. But, like, if I keep it painted and I put a clear coat on it, I won't bite them. And if I make myself do that every couple of days or, like, usually, like, every three days because I don't have class right now. So, like, I have a little, I have extra time to do stuff with. So, you know, like, I can do this. I, it's manageable. Let me cut this light off. It's manageable, you know, like, it's possible. And I could probably keep up with this, like, when school starts. I just don't know if my job will allow us to have color like this. If not, like, I'll still do the same thing, but, like, with the nude color or with, um, or with clear. But, yeah, so I washed my hands really good and got everything off of them. And then I took the color off. I used non-acetone. Yeah, nourishing nail polish remover. So I used that. And then I um, washed my hands again. And I put this Avon Moisture Therapy Intensive Hand Cream. Compliment. It's backwards because I'm on my phone. So, yeah. Compliments of my mom. She doesn't, she like gets a lot of Avon stuff. And, um, she can't use it because she's like her allergies. And so I end up like just taking it from home whenever I go back home. So, yeah. Um,. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Like, she gets it as gifts and stuff. So, I end up taking it from her. But she doesn't care. And then I put nail hardener on this. Compliments of my sister. That's not even in the States right now. But, yeah. I put that on there. And then I put the color. I made this color up myself. It's like a, it's a blend of white. Like a nude a dark pink, a bright pink, and a clear coat. The clear coat's in there to add a little glossiness to the actual color itself. And uh, it, it looks like this. It looks bright on camera. I don't know how it'll look after I load, upload the video to YouTube. But it looks really bright. But um, seeing that I wear a lot of uh, dresses, usually, sorry, my sleeve is falling down. Usually, I have um, a pink in it or like a floral. So, this goes well with almost everything that I wear. And if not, it's almost close to a nude to where, you know, I can get away with it 
for um, just like everyday type stuff. And sorry about the shirt. Like I said, I was about to go to sleep, but I couldn't sleep. So yeah, that's why I look a mess. But um, I can use this like, this is what I used basically all summer long when I wanted my nails painted. Um, I couldn't find the perfect pink like this pink. It'll be bright when I want it to be bright. It'll be dark. It just depends on what I have on. Like if I have on a black, it'll look brighter than if I had on like a peach top or if I had on a white top. It doesn't look as bright. So I like it because of that. And, you know, like I made it myself. So I don't even know, you know, what to put as like what to put in the info box if you were interested in buying this I can make some for you <laughs> but as like because I know what kind of mixture and what how much of each thing I used but um as far as telling you what to do I wouldn't know it's kind of like a you get the feel of how to do it but that's really it if you have any suggestions or recommendations or just like any comments on like painting my nails a little better because I'm not the best nail painter but you can clearly see I'm not the best nail painter but painting my nails a little better or like your regimen or how you go by doing like an at home manicure because um I feel like you know like it's good to go to a salon and get a manicure I do but that's like once a month because it can like certain things that they use can mess up your nail so it's better if you do it at home and you know what you can use and um, a lot of people put olive oil on their cuticles I don't I do that sometimes I do that about every two weeks olive oil I didn't do it this time because I just started getting back into doing it regularly but I will be doing that in two weeks and then um, you can put regular lotion on or you can make your own mixture. And if you want, I'll show you how to do that. You can make a like a hand softening and it's good for your feet and like um, really any dry spaces you, or skin spots where you have dry, that are dry spots. It's good to put on. You just put a little olive oil in your favorite lotion. Not an oil, too oily, not too water base lotion just like a nice good lotion put a little bit of oil in it um, shake it up every time you use it and you can do it that way um, some well sometimes I will just take the olive oil straight from the bottle rub it in my hands sit there for about five minutes go wash my hands under warm water with soap get the oil you know off and then immediately dry my hands, pat dry my hands, and put lotion on it, the same lotion mixture or Avon or Vaseline. And when I put the Vaseline on, I'll cake it onto the onto my hands, wipe it inside out, and then do my manicure regimen. And that'll leave you with soft filling hands um, on an everyday basis. You don't have to do that, but about twice, twice, you know, a month, like every two weeks, or if you feel, you know, if your hands are really dry, you can do it like once a week. Or, you know, if you just want to do it to keep your hands soft, I was just doing it like twice a month, once a month, sometimes three times a month. But if you keep it, if you keep it going, you'll have soft hands. So, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video and show you all my pretty pink color. But you will probably be seeing me soon in another video later on today because I have a meeting with my advisor so I'm sure I have some story to tell about my trip over to the advisor office alright I hope you all are having a good day night wherever you may be or whatever you may be doing just do you alright bye